Hey everybody, it's your friend Daniel Hutchins, and today we are doing another late night video. Now I know, usually late night videos normally have the Christmas lights, or the lava lamp, or just darkness, but as you probably might notice, very very few of my late night videos have me actually wide awake and my main light on my room on during the course of a late night video. So today's late night video we're actually going to be talking about is Book of Boba Fett. Yes, I know I haven't dived deep into it since middle or late November, so I'm going to be talking about it again. Again, Book of Boba Fett is coming really, really soon to Disney+. Plus. In fact, right around the time of New Year's Eve. In fact, it's going to be coming out the first debut in December the 29th, and it's going to go all the way into the stretch of January and February. So, there's going to be some information about a major character from the Mandalorian who is rumored to return. Now, these are just rumors, guys. So, again, I want to reiterate myself. Rumors aren't always true, but again, rumored to feature another major character from Mandalorian show. Again, Book of Boba Fett. So this was hot off the truck just an hour ago. So, okay. The next Star Wars series on Disney Plus we know, Book of Boba Fett, otherwise known as Mandalorian Season 2.5, is about Boba Fett and Fennec Shand breaking off to their own adventures. Most of their marketing for the series has focused solely on those two characters, but it's appeared the number of popular faces of the Mandalorian have been popping up in some points in the spinoff. Again, according to StarWarsNewsNet.com, which is a site people use for Star Wars info, some of the exclusive crew merchandise from Book of Boba Fett is rumored to include more than just the already confirmed characters of the show. The rumor suggests the crew merch actually features Grogu, a.k.a. Baby Yoda, perhaps the most recognizable character of all of Star Wars to, to this day. Again, so, the end of Mandalorian's second season sees Grogu head off of Luke Skywalker to receive his Jedi training, leaving Din Djarin behind. Again, it makes it difficult to see an adorable Force user Stroy go into Weave and Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. But anything in Star Wars Universe is possible. Just like there is the motto with Marvel as well. Anything is possible. So there's also a chance the crew's merchandise is using Grogu as a mascot for the entire world of Star Wars television with Disney+. Plus. Now after all, Boba Fett does spin off of the Mandalorian. So, merchandise could be your only genuine connection between the characters and the new shows. Again, there's a lot of shows that have been confirmed for 2022. It's going to be a busy slate for Star Wars. So, we don't know if Grogu is going to show up at all. But we do know this, that Fennec Shand will have a massive part in his story. Again, Boba Fett takes control of the criminal underworld. We know from Jabba's Palace on Tatooine that showed up, he first showed up in Mandalorian Season 1 with their apparent demise weds from first tease of Boba Fett, which was in Season 2 in large capacity, working as the bounty hunter partner. Oh gosh, no, 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 they've told comicbook.com. We asked if they would like to return after Season 1 episode. And we mean determining factors might play in several things. You know one, so it looks really cool in the outfit. I really think that I knew the world so much, and when a character's been presented to me, I did a lot of research. But again, that's like anyone. You have to do your research before you watch the TV or the movie. That's what I've been doing all these years. For seven years on YouTube, I've been researching and keeping up with the comic universe months prior to their respective release. Again, took inspiration from their names, but you know, working on the designs and then clicking with Dave Filoni, who's a big name of Star Wars canon, he's directing what we get to know each other. 
and again its debuts on December the 29th, just a couple days before New Year's Eve. Again, you can celebrate your New Year's Eve by watching the first episode of Book of Boba Fett, which is on Disney+. Plus. Again, so let me know your thoughts, and you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. And this is not going to be the only late night video. I might be doing a couple more. So hang on to your hats because I might be doing some more late night videos. Maybe in the next little while. So I see you guys in the next one. And until then, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.